LG G Styler Boost Mobile User HD here, and today I'm doing a video on Arcatel Dawn for Virgin Mobile USA, guys. This one got released today, July 8th, so I did not find about this phone until recently. Until the day, obviously. Um, this is a budget phone for Virgin Mobile, so you're not gonna get much from this phone. This uh, phone looks for uh, this phone looks uh, okay, I guess. Uh, you're not gonna get much from this phone, obviously. Uh, it's a budget phone, so you get what you pay for here, as you guys can. See there, uh, you guys got the front facing camera, the earpiece, the screen, uh, and you got your uh, touch and pass buttons for Android 6.0 Marshmallow. And you guys got the ugly ass Virgin Mobile Wapo right there, this shit's ugly as hell. And you guys got the um, Architel interface on top of Android 6.0 there. Um, and your power and volume keys are on the right side, if you guys can tell that by this uh, picture here. So I got more pictures, as you guys can see there. I don't know if you guys can tell in this picture, but power and brain piece are on the right side, like I just said. Um, there's a f different other side. Uh, nothing on the uh, left side, guys. On the back, guys, there's no camera flash. I think there's a noise cancellation microphone at the top of the uh, camera. You got your uh, Alcatel logo, and you got your speaker right down there, guys. So, uh, yeah. Um, there it is. Alcatel Dawn. Says the Alcatel Dawn is a the Alcatel Dawn is the sleek, powerful smartphone you need at just the right price. Powered by Android 6.0 Marshmallow and a 1.1 gigahertz quad core processor, this device is ready for surfing, streaming, and multitasking. With its beautiful 4.5 inch display, with front facing VGA camera and 5 megapixel rear camera, the Dawn has everything you want, need and more. It's 69.99, guys, so you get what you pay for here. So it's a budget phone, so uh, yeah, take that into account, guys. So you're not going to get the greatest specs on this. Top pictures, top pictures of the phone, guys 4.5 inch FWVGA 854 x 480 TFT display. Then the pixel density is like 207 or 280. I think the pixel density is like 207 or 218 ppi. So, very low pixel resolution there. Do what you love from streaming video to surfing the web to scrolling through social media on a dazzling TFT touchscreen display. Okay. But it's a budget phone, so yeah. Uh, Android 6 and Marshmallow OS. You will love top of the line features from Android's latest operating system, including smart shortcuts to your. Make use programs, custom app permissions, fingerprint unlocked, and better saving modes. That's a fucking lie. It doesn't have a fingerprint scanner, so it does not have it on this one. Uh, 5 megapixel word facing camera. Capture vivid pics and clips using the 5 megapixel word camera. It's not amazing self is using the VGA front facing camera. The camera is 0.3 megapixels on the front. So it's gonna, it's, so it's gonna, so it's gonna, gonna look like trash again. LTE, 3G, and, and, and enhanced LTE, of course. Fast streaming, serving, and downloading. Enjoy blazing fast 4G LTE, where 4, 4G LTE speeds are available right on the Sprint Nationwide 4G LTE network. Up to 32 gigabytes of micro SD HC card compatible. Slip in, slip in a micro SD HC card, so separate, so separate, obviously, to add up to 32 gigabytes of extra storage for videos, music, apps, and more. So I guess you can move that to the SD card. Don't need that. 1780 million battery. Talk, text, surf, and stream longer without worrying about your charge. With the song less than lithium-ion battery, with up to 13 hours of talk time. 1.1 gigahertz quad-core processor. Surf the web, launch apps, play games, and multitask with some savior speed. Turn in, turn your friend into a mobile hotspot. So you will never be stuck without an internet connection again. Um, you have to pay for the internet. You did. You did. You do have to pay for hotspot on Virgin Mobile. You have to pay for it. It's not a free. It's not free like it is on Virgin Mobile. So uh, don't get touched off of Virgin Mobile. It's crap. You have to pay like five dollars for a gig and like ten dollars for two gigs. It's not worth it. Uh, additional features include the Bluetooth 4.1 mobile hotspot capable. Of course, which is the extra charge, uh, USB 2.0 charging cable, messaging, micro SD card up to 32 gigs, 3.5 member headphone jack, Wi Fi enabled, which I guess connect the phone to Wi Fi. The, the phone weighs 5 ounces, 4.5 inch display, it's a TFT FWVGA resolution, so the display is going to look like shit. 1 gigabyte of RAM and 8 gigabytes of ROM, but you do have an 
as they try to take advantage of that. You'll need it. 13 hours of talk time, 1780 million battery, removable, yes, as always a good thing. 1.1 GHz rock core processor, Android 6.0 Marshmallow. There's the phone right there, guys. What you guys get in the box is the Alcatel Dawn handset, of course, obviously, hopefully. Uh, charger, USB 2.0 cable, good started guide to English and Spanish. Some card included, which is installed in the phone already. Uh, if you guys need help, which is uh, Alcatel Dawn, for like, if you guys need help, learn how to use the feature or learn how to get somewhere. Device support from Birds Mobile will help you out with that, and they'll give you great tips and tricks and details and features and step by step instructions how to do that. Uh, so you get uh, house of free switching from Virgin Mobile, keep your friend number, no contract, free shipping, 7 day guarantee, free activation, last friend, replacement, touch out what spot a friend you want, once your friend arrives, you activate it online and pick a plan, charge your phone, 7 day pause, 7 day return, 7 day, 7 day guarantee on all the products, yeah but I think you gotta pay extra for the hotspot though. I think you do for Verizon Mobile. You do have to pay extra for the hotspot. I will uh, have to l look into that because on Boost Mobile, hotspot is definitely free on Boost Mobile. I do know that for a fact. But on Verizon Mobile, you do have to pay extra for that. I'm assuming, according. I will have to look into that. So, uh, the Alcatel Dawn is a budget phone, guys. So you're not gonna get much from this phone. Um, you know, the thing it, it has Android 6.0 which is good. It has a uh, SD card slot, which is good. Uh, you can't move the battery, which is good. Uh, the display is not, it's not going to look that great. It's going to look terrible. But it's a budget phone. So you, so you get what you pay for here. For something bucks, you get what you pay for. Um, if you guys need a affordable budget phone, backup phone, whatever, a burner phone, or whatever, Doc can tell Don can be for you, or whatever. So, but don't expect much from this phone. But I don't know if it has adaptive storage or not. I don't know if it does. It probably does. I don't know. Um, yeah, but that wallpaper is ugly as hell. Change it. You guys get the phone. The Resmo wallpaper is ugly as hell, and it's shit. Um. Yeah, and that's the phone, guys. The, yeah. It's a good phone for a first smartphone buyer or for your kids or whatever. So, uh, don't expect much from, from the uh, Alcatel Dawn, guys. Don't, 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 uh, don't, don't expect much from it. Don't, don't expect much from this phone. It's a budget phone. It's Sunday dollars, so you get what you pay for here from Bridge Mobile. So, uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up, guys. I really appreciate that. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much for watching my video. Peace.